Good morning, good morning, brethren. Almighty Father be praised in this house. Let Almighty Father be reverenced this morning. Let's give him thanks. Let's give him glory. That is due his name. Our God is almighty, all powerful. He's seated on the throne. He deserves our worship. He deserves our praise. We say this morning, Father, be thou exalted in the gathering of the saints. Be exalted in this place. Be exalted, O Lord. Let your great name be exalted and praised for you are God. You are above it all. Ancient of days. We invite your presence. We invite your kingdom. Let your kingdom come on this earth realm, in this dimension. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven this morning. Lord, let every knee bow. Let every tongue confess that you are Lord. Yes, mighty God of things in heaven, of things on the earth of things under the earth. Let every tongue confess Jesus is Lord. Let every knee bow to the Lordship of Jesus. Father God, we take authority right now this morning in this atmosphere. We take authority over the spirit realm, over the natural realm, and we decree the name of Jesus. We say at the mention of the name Jesus, every knee must bow. Yes, Lord, whatever Lord, whatever entities, whether there be principalities, whether there be powers, whether they be rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places, we command them to bow. Whether they be witchcraft covens, whether they be gatherings of the enemy, Lord, we command them to bow. Every spirit that is not from God, we command you to bow. On this prayer line this morning, only the spirit of the living God shall reign. Only the spirit of the living God will speak. Every other voice, we command them to be silent. We silence every voice that is not of the Lord. We we silence every entity that is not from God. We silence, O oh Lord, every verdict that is not of God. That's why we come by the blood of Jesus. We come by the blood of Jesus and we declare the blood over this atmosphere. We declare the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, sanctify us. Sanctify every man, every woman, every child, every young person in this place. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse us. Let the blood of Jesus wash us. Let the blood of Jesus perfect that which concerns us. Anything that is not of God, we say, Lord, wash us this morning. Cleanse us this morning. Purify us this morning. In the name of Jesus, perfect that which concerns us. Perfect the atmosphere around us. Perfect our families by the blood of Jesus. Wash us with the washing of the water by the word. Let the word wash us. Let the spirit wash us. Let the blood of Jesus wash us. Because we have come to Mount Zion. We have come to Mount Zion. According to your word in Hebrews 12, 22. We have come to Mount Zion. We have come to the city of the living God. We have come to God, the just judge of the universe. We have come to the innumerable company of angels. We have come to the souls of the just men made perfect. We have come to the church of the firstborn whose names are written in heaven. We have come to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant and to the blood of sprinkling which has been sprinkled on the mercy seat. The blood which speaks a louder a nobler a more gracious message than the blood of Abel which called for vengeance. And so we activate the testimony of the blood of Jesus this morning. We activate the testimony of the blood of the lamb. Let the blood silence evil evil assignments, evil agendas, evil decrees, evil manifestations. Let the blood silence whatever is not of God. Blood of Jesus. Shakunda Mahanda. We raise your testimony, Lord, in every realm, in every dimension. We raise your testimony all over the universe, uh, on the earth, uh, under the earth, uh, above the earth, uh, in the first heaven, in the atmospheric heaven, in the second heaven. Oh, Rabbi Shanda, we raise the testimony of the blood uh, in the third heavens. Uh, let the blood speak for us, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, everything that is contrary to the kingdom of heaven, uh, we plead the blood of Jesus uh, and we command it to bow in the precious name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we worship you this morning. You are worthy to be praised. Uh, regardless 
We pray this morning, child of God, every dream that God has shown you in the night season, every dream that is a reality that is not your testimony, we are pleading the blood, we are canceling every strange dream, every strange spiritual manifestation, whatever the enemy has done in the night season, that is contrary to the truth of God, we come against it by the power in the blood of Jesus. in the name of Jesus, by the blood of the Lamb, Lord, we preach the wickedness of the night. Everything that my Father has not planted in our lives, sickness, disease, failure, shame, disgrace, embarrassment, oh, Rabbi Shanda, we uproot it and we purge it by the blood of the Lamb of God, Jesus. Every evil programming in the night seasons, incantations, spells, rituals, hexes, vexes, hoaxes, Makuna Messiah, I delete you by the blood of Jesus. I break your power. We break, oh God, whatever you've not planted in our lives because the Bible says every tree that my heavenly Father has not planted in our lives shall be uprooted and thrown into the fire. This morning, mighty God, whatever you've not planted, whatever you've not programmed into this week, I uproot it. I deprogram it. Whatever the enemies have programmed into this week and designed to bring sorrow, to bring shame, to bring embarrassment, to bring sickness, Lord, by the blood of Jesus, we deprogram it this morning. We deprogram Shana Makura Bazikalabo Regado Sokorobo Shanda Makura Babasia Makura Bababasia Masukerebosia Makura Dadabosia Let your word speak, O God, for your word is living and powerful. Your word is sharper than any two edged sword. You said in your word in Matthew fifteen thirteen every tree, every plant that our heavenly father is not planted will be pulled up by the roots, will be uprooted will be uprooted from the roots oh God we pluck up anything that you have not planted in our lives from the roots from the roots we uproot disfavor we uproot disfavor we uproot embarrassment we uproot pain sorrow whatever Lord we uproot it we pull it up from its roots you said every plant that my heavenly father has not uprooted has not planted is uprooted and thrown into the fire in the name of the Lord Jesus we throw into the fire everything you've not planted while people were sleeping and they were being fed evil and they were being injected with evil and they were being programmed for evil father in the name of Jesus we deprogram it this morning we deprogram it every dream designed to inflict sorrow to inflict evil destiny, evil assignment. Lord, we purge them out of people's lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we purge them this morning. Father God, whatever dreams they had that were to program them for evil, Father, I deprogram them. In the name of the Lord Jesus, whatever was spoken on satanic altars to program people for evil, Father, we deprogram it. In the name of Jesus, we renounce and reject the evil altars. We call fire of God and destruction on them in the name of Jesus we call destruction on every evil programming on every evil reality 
in the name of Jesus. Every altar raised with people's photographs, with images, with names, with any piece of your clothing, with your DNA. Lord, in the name of Jesus, any altar bearing our image, the images of our spouses, our children, our children's children, bearing the images of our brothers, our sisters, our parents, any altar raised with our photographs. Oh Lord, with our names, with our DNA, with any piece of us uh, with our hair with nails uh, with blood uh, I call fire of destruction on those altars uh, I call the fire of God uh, to destroy uh, any documents they've taken uh, to evil altars uh, any paperwork uh, I call fire of destruction in a mask in a whatever it is uh, that has been handled uh, by the powers of darkness uh, to manipulate uh, our destinies uh, against the plans and purposes of God. Uh, this morning, oh God, uh, we deprogram it. Uh, we deprogram it uh, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Uh, we deprogram it uh, by the spirit of the living God. Uh, we deprogram it. Uh, we deprogram the programs of wickedness uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, who is it that says the thing uh, and it comes to pass uh, when the Lord has not said it. Uh, every evil pronouncement uh, upon anyone of us here, we declare it a lie in the name of Jesus. Uh, anyone speaking against us, uh, we declare them a liar. Let all men be liars. Let God be the truth. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, according to your word in Lamentations 3.37, who is it who speaks and it comes to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? Father, whatever you've not commanded about our lives, our destinies in this week, in this month, in this year, in this season, we deprogram it, we declare it a liar in the name of Jesus who said uh, we will fail uh, we say you are a liar who said uh, that will be frustrated uh, we say you are a liar who said uh, we will be sick uh, we declare you a liar who said you will die prematurely that person is a liar in the name of Jesus uh, who said uh, that you should be confused uh, you should be oppressed uh, you should be frustrated uh, we declare them liars uh, who is it who speaks uh, and it comes to pass uh, when the Lord has not said it uh, what God has not said uh, it is a liar it can never come to pass. Uh, whatever the devil is doing, uh, we declare it a lying wonder. And because it's a lying wonder, we silence it this morning uh, by the sword of the spirit, uh, which is the word of God. Uh, Lord, thank you. Every scripture we read uh, is the sword of the spirit. Uh, I say, who is it uh, who speaks and it comes to pass uh, when the Lord has not commanded it? Uh, I release that sword of the spirit uh, into the realm of the spirit, uh, into the realm of the natural and declare whatever words uh, have been spoken uh, as curses, uh, as limiters, uh, as evil assignments, uh, as evil prophecies. Uh, they are being annulled uh, and destroyed right now by the sword of the spirit, uh, which is Lamentations 337. Let the sword of the Lord uh, begin to nullify uh, these evil pronouncements. Uh, whatever they spoke uh, on their, their cauldron, on their witchcraft cauldron, on their evil altar, we disallow it. Uh, we release the sword of the spirit. Uh, we revoke it, uh, we cancel it uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, oh Lord our God, uh, how excellent is your name, uh, how glorious is your name uh, in all the earth. Uh, Father, we thank you. We release your word in First John 4, 4. You said we are of God. You said little children, you are of God and you have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. This morning, oh God, we declare we have overcome them. All those who ganged up against us, all those who are contending with our destiny, all those who are fighting our children, all those who are fighting the stars, 
of our bloodlines in the name of Jesus. We have overcome them. We have overcome them. We have overcome them because the greater one is inside of us this morning. Child of God, begin to declare according to 1 John 4, 4. This is the sword of the spirit. I am releasing in the realm of the spirit, in the realm of the natural. Declare it and say by 1 John 4, 4, I release the sword of the spirit into the camp of the enemy. The greater one is inside of me. The greater one is in me. He lives in me. He works through me. He speaks through me. The greater one is inside of me. Therefore, I overcome. I overcome the evil ones. I overcome the powers of darkness. I overcome evil assignments. I overcome the one who is in the world cannot match my Jesus. The one who's in the world cannot match the forces of the kingdom of heaven. They cannot match the angelic armies, the power of God, of my father who is seated on the throne. They cannot match the ancient of days. They cannot match Elohim, El Elyon. They cannot match the one who is El Giboa, who is Jehovah Nisi, our banner of victory. We declare we've overcome. We've overcome. We are walking in his power. We are walking in his truth. Shana makuna mazekelebo. We release the sword of the spirit. For this reason, the son of God was made manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. First John 3, 8. In the name of Jesus, every work of the devil this morning, we destroy it. Every work of the devil. Erebo shanda. Mazuka lebosia. Confusion. Arabasia. We destroy you. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, the Bible said in Isaiah 8 verse 9, it said, associate yourselves, all you people, and you shall be broken in pieces. Give ear, all you far countries, gird yourselves, and you shall be broken in pieces. Gird yourselves, and you shall be broken in pieces. Take counsel together, and you shall come to naught. Speak the word, and you shall not stand, for God is with us. I want you to declare every evil association, every evil gang up, every satanic gang up against our destinies, against our families. I declare over you, associate yourselves, all you people, you shall still be broken into pieces. Every satanic gang up is broken into pieces. Yes, in the name of Jesus, we say to them, you shall be broken into pieces. This morning, gird yourselves, even stand up. Whatever weapons you have, you will be broken into pieces. You shall be broken into pieces. Bible says in Isaiah 8, 9 and 10, you will be broken into pieces. It says, take counsel together. It shall come to naught. It will come to nothing. Your evil counsel, it shall come to nothing. It falls to the ground as dust. It cannot achieve anything. In the name of Jesus, every evil counsel that has been counseled against us, it will come to nothing. Whoever is speaking evil counsel against the children of God, it comes to naught. It comes to nothing. Take counsel together. It will come to nothing. Anyone plotting and planning behind our backs, I declare their plan a failure. I declare their plan a resounding failure. It will come to nothing. In our in our ministries that God has given us, as we minister to the Lord, every gang up of Satan will come to nothing. In our professional jobs, in that office where you are, child of God, every evil gang up, it shall come to naught. It will come to nothing. They are broken into pieces in the name of Jesus. Anyone contending with our rising, with our promotion, anyone who has a problem with our rising, Lord, it shall come to naught. Any evil doors, doorkeepers, any evil doorkeepers who are saying you cannot rise, you cannot go through this door. I declare them a liar. I said they are broken to pieces. Every evil gatekeeper, they are broken to pieces. In the name of Jesus, whatever word they speak, the Bible said in Isaiah 8, 10, whatever they speak, it shall not stand for God is with us. We are not alone. Jehovah Shammah is with us. Emmanuel is with us. God is with us. He is an ever-present helper in time of trouble. He is our present helper, a very present helper, an immediate helper. Help that comes just when we need it. Yes, in the name of Jesus, well-timed, appropriate helper. We receive it this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord said in Isaiah 8 verse 11, for the Lord spoke to me 
with a strong hand and he instructed me that I should not walk in the way of these people saying, say ye not a, a conspiracy, a confederacy to all them to whom these people shall say a conspiracy. Neither fear ye their fear nor be afraid in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray and say, Lord, I hear your voice. I will not walk in the ways of these people. I will not follow evil paths in the name of the Lord Jesus. I will not walk in darkness. I will not walk in sin. I will not walk in rebellion. I will not walk in transgression. I will not walk in sin. I will not walk in the ways of these people. Every evil they are doing, I refuse to do evil. I refuse to walk in darkness in the name of Jesus. I will not walk in their ways. And the Bible says, don't call a conspiracy what they call a conspiracy. Do not fear what they fear. Father, in the name of Jesus, we refuse to be afraid of what anything that comes out of this world. We are not afraid. Whatever these people are afraid of, we are not afraid. We rebuke fear. We rebuke fear. For the earth is the Lord's and its fullness thereof. The people and every Everything in it belongs to our Father. So we are not afraid. We have no fear. We are not afraid of the arrows by night or any pestilences. We are not afraid of evil letters because those letters will bounce back. We are not afraid of evil verdicts. We are not afraid. We are not afraid of anything. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I will not lack any good thing. We are not afraid of lack. We are not afraid of, oh, you're not going to have money. Money. It's a lie. We have more than enough uh, for our God shall supply all our needs uh, according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And the Bible says uh, in Isaiah 8, uh, 13 and 14, uh, it says, uh, Sanctify the Lord of hosts himself. Let him be your fear. Let him be your dread. Uh, Father Lord, uh, we choose to sanctify you, Lord of hosts. Uh, we choose to fear you. It is only you we fear. We sanctify you in our midst. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, may we be all set apart uh, and walk in that set apart way. In the name of Jesus. And the Bible says uh, in Isaiah 8, 14, uh, and God shall be for a sanctuary for you. Uh, he will be a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense uh, to your enemies. Uh, but he is uh, a sanctuary for you. Begin to thank him uh, and say, Lord, I thank you this morning. Uh, you are my sanctuary. You are my hiding place. Uh, you are my place of peace. Uh, that is where I rest. Uh, it is in you I rest. Uh, it is in you I have peace. Uh, you are my sanctuary in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus, he is our sanctuary, he is our hiding place, he is our protection in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I want us to go to Second Kings, Second Kings chapter five. Second Kings chapter five. The Bible speaks in verse one. It says, "Now Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master and honorable, because by him the Lord Yahweh had given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man in valor, but he was a leper. Naaman was a captain of the host of the king. Number two, he was a great man, and then number three." he was honorable and number four he was a vessel of Yahweh because the Bible says Yahweh used him to bring great deliverance to Syria number five he was a mighty man he had all these attributes and all these qualities but the Bible says but he was a leper the leprosy became a reproach to Naaman it was the only thing that was a problem in his life in every other way Naaman was anointed by God himself Naaman was empowered by God himself and yet the enemy put a question mark in his life. I want you to pray for yourself. You know what? The enemy doesn't care that you're anointed. The enemy doesn't care that you're honorable. The enemy doesn't care that you have done great work in the ministry of God. You've done great work at work in your professional job. You've done great. All he wants to do is to bring shame and reproach. He wants people to say, ah, despite all his qualifications, look at him, he's suffering. Despite all her beauty, her qualifications, look at her, she's suffering. He, the 
enemy wants to bring reproach. He wants to make as if uh, your giftings uh, and your anointing uh, and your academic qualifications uh, are for nothing. He wants you to have all these qualifications and sit down at home without a job, without a business. I want you to declare him a liar this morning. Begin to pray and say every reproach uh, that the enemy is trying to bring to my house, to my family, to my home, uh, to our destinies. Uh, I reject it. I refuse it. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus, uh, there will be no bats in my life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, my life uh, is a complete story of the mercy of God. Uh, is a complete story of the grace of God. Uh, I say grace brought me. Grace made me. Grace has brought me this far. I will not be ashamed. Uh, I will not be ashamed. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every reproach uh, that the enemy is trying to bring in our lives, uh, we refuse it, uh, we reject it. Uh, you will not walk in error, you will not have a question mark in your life. Uh, Every reproach, uh, let it be removed from you. Every reproach, uh, let it be removed uh, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Every reproach uh, the enemy is trying to bring uh, into our lives, uh, our professional lives, uh, our ministerial lives, uh, our family lives, uh, into our relationships. Uh, Father God, we reject our reproach. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, Lord, uh, take away every reproach. Uh, take away every reproach. Uh, take away every reproach. Shana makuna mazeke telebo kurabasiya. Mazeke telebo kurabababa. Shana makura basiya. Mazeke telebo siya. Ragado sokondo basiya. Mazeke telebo kurabababa. Jeke telebo siya. Mazeke ndelebo kurabababa. Ragada da bozikata. I chase away every reproach. Mazeke telebo siya. Masuka lebo rabosiya. Neke seke telebo. Mazika ndelebo Rabo zende Randerene Nikanduna mazia Mazuke nemozia Ragadosia Let every reproach be removed In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus In Jesus mighty name we pray Amen Quickly look 1 24 and 25 Look 1 24 and 25 One day one day After many years of waiting for a baby And not having a baby There was a day that Elizabeth became pregnant Look 1 24 Elizabeth the wife of Zechariah The mother of John She became pregnant And the Bible says for 5 months She remained in seclusion For 5 months she was hidden Because the testimony was growing 5 representing grace The grace of God Let the grace of God begin to incubate your testimony right now. Let the grace of God begin to incubate that testimony. What you've waited for for a long time. One day, Elizabeth, who had waited for decades, her testimony came. Begin to pray. What I've waited for, Lord, for a long time. Let you incubate it this morning. In the name of Jesus, by your grace, by your grace, let grace incubate my breakthrough. Let grace incubate my testimony. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Shana makurabasia. Lord, incubate the testimony in the name of Jesus. By your grace, by your grace, let the testimony be cooked up in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Luke 125. Luke 125. Elizabeth testified about her pregnancy and said, The Lord has done this for me. In these days, He has shown me His favor. And taken away my disgrace among the people. He's taken away my reproach among the people. Child of God, we've prayed that God would remove our reproach, our disgrace. Anything that is disgrace, that is reproach. Let God take it away. But instead, may you receive favor. May you receive favor. Undeserved favor. Unparalleled favor. Favor that opens doors. Favor that causes you to triumph. Favor that promotes you. Favor that takes you to the next level. Favor that heals. That delivers. That restores. Everything thing that canker worms had eaten and the locusts and the caterpillars favor that brings restoration favor that brings a new beginning favor that transforms favor that causes you to shine that causes your star to shine i receive favor this morning i begin to shine like a star i shine let disgrace be removed let disgrace be removed i shine i shine i shine for the lord is the portion of my inheritance the lord is my cup he maintains my lot the 
hands have fallen unto me in pleasant places. I walk in favor. Yes, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord at all times. For he has given me counsel and instructed my reins in the night seasons. I will bless the Lord at all times. In Amasi and Because he's at my right hand, I shall not be moved. I receive favor, not disgrace, no shame, no disgrace, no shame. I receive favor. I receive favor. Ah, we are favored in the name of the Lord Jesus. We are favored this morning in the precious name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we receive favor. Favor of God. Let favor be our shield, be our blanket. Let favor be all around us. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, as we go out today, favor follows us. As we come in back home, favor follows us. In everything we do, let favor be upon us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen.